Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan and the subject to this 10 minute moan is Alex Salmon taking some of Scottish Government, um, a couple of civil servants and Nicola Sturgeon to court over £3 million and now the Scottish Government has started getting legal advice on the matter, shows that uh, it's a live thing and a real thing. And the Daily Express, the Scottish Daily Express, have covered the story. And their headline is SNP government preparing for £3 million Alex Salmon court battle as it elicits secret legal advice. Exclusive, the former First Minister launched fresh legal action against the Scottish government and specifically Leslie Evans, Liz Lloyd and Nicola Sturgeon. So the story goes, the Scottish Government is gearing up for an intense court battle with old enemy Alec Salmond as it has elicited secret legal advice. We previously told how the former First Minister is seeking damages from the SNP executive due to the way it mishandled sexual misconduct allegations against him. He has lodged his case at the Court of Session and is understood to be seeking £3 million due to loss of earnings and reputation damage. It's the second time he's taken the government to court as he won a case back in 2019 being awarded over half a million pound in costs. Hamza Yousaf's administration has been quiet over the whole affair and the Scottish Daily Express can reveal the SNP advisers have told all of their ministers to respond with. It would not be appropriate to comment on live litigation. Emails about the situation showed that officials wrote that this should be given, should be used given the legal position and a need to equip any ministers undertaking media with a position. We asked the government about what preparation it had done so far for Mr Salmon's legal latest court action and were informed that legal advice had been taken but cannot be made public. They said that there is strong, very strong public interest in maintaining confidentiality of communications between legal advisors and client and in considering litigation. It is clearly in the public interest for lawyers to be able to provide free and frank legal advice to its clients considering and discussing all issues and options without fear that the advice might be disclosed and potentially taken out of context. It is also the public interest that decisions are taken by government in a fully informed legal context. Ministers and officials have therefore needed high quality comprehensive legal advice for effective conduct of their business that advice needs to be given in context and with a full appreciation of relevant facts. Without such legal advice, which can only be provided frankly and comprehensively and in the knowledge that it will be kept in confidence, the quality of the government's decision making would be much reduced since it would not be fully informed. Litigation privilege applies to documents created in <coughs> excuse me contemplation of litigation and to communications when litigation is either pending or being considered. Litigation priv privilege applies to documents created by the party contemplating legal action, to expert reports prepared on their behalf and to legal advice given in relation to potential legal actions. Mr Salmond is accusing the government of malfeasance, the wrongful exercise of lawful authority by civil servants. When he announced the launch of the case, he said that not one single person has been held accountable for the botched handling of the harassment inquiry, which he said a court of session judge described as unlawful, unfair and tainted with apparent bias. Now, I'm just going to stop reading for a second and go back to the story. When Alex Salmon is accusing the government of malfeasance, it's quite serious. But, there seems to be a lot of claims of malfeasance for this government. I just wonder when it's all going to stop and will we ever find out of all cases of malfeasance in the 17 years of the SNP's rule. Alex Salmon said, With this court action, the evasion of responsibility ends. The calling of the action signals that the day of reckoning for Scottish government's record of malfeasance on this grand scale will inevitably come. I think Alex is maybe suggesting that there's more to it as well. More uh, uh, malfeasance. The public officials and ministers named in the action include his successor as First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, 
as well as the government's former permanent secretary, Leslie Evans, and the ex-chief of staff, Liz Lloyd. When asked about the situation, Mr. Yousaf, now this is quite interesting, said that they would defend its position robustly. Mr. Yousaf isn't part of this action. The SNP, that he's leader of, is not part of this action. Two civil servants and an individual, Nicola Sturgeon, are named in this action. So, it would appear to me that with those few words, Mr Yousaf is already suggesting that this is an SNP thing, which is quite bizarre when you consider it. Ms Sturgeon also refutes the claims from Mr Salmond with a spokesperson for her previously saying she answered questions before a parliamentary committee for eight hours in 2021 and was also investigated and cleared by an independent advisor on the ministerial code. Salmon's actions are a matter for him and the conduct of the case is a matter for the Scottish Government. Now, let's just identify what she's saying there. He was cleared, she was cleared by an independent advisor. That independent advisor was a Mr Hamilton who looked in independently, apparently, to the possibility of her having broken the ministerial code. And in his findings listed that there was an incomplete narrative of events given to the Scottish Government due to her failure of recollection. Now, if that's totally clearing someone, then I'm a unicorn. Because someone who gave an incomplete narrative of events due to a failure of recollection is quite suspicious to me. And also, the report, since when it was made public, and I believe this is still going through um, a process of appeal, the report, when it was made public, was heavily redacted. So there may be other things in there worse than having an incomplete narrative of events due to a failure of recollection, if it was ever to be made fully public. So there we have another situation of claimed malfeasance against this government, another split in the independence movement, and more importantly, the people of Scotland, more of the public purse been sent, spent on legal advice for the potential wrongdoings of individuals. And the civil service being brought into this is quite worrying because the civil service are meant to be there to provide advice and determine right from wrong and be apart from the government. And this case could provide quite a lot of evidence suggesting that none of that is true. So I look forward to the court of session hearings. The SNP, the government as well, and I'd imagine because of the way the action has been written against government, it's probably more than likely the Scottish government and not the SNP as a party that are paying for this advice. And I also get my ears pricked up and I hear Yousaf saying, we will defend this. What was his exact quote? Let me just find it again. Something like, we will defend this resolutely or something. Sorry, defend its position robustly. Seems a bit weird to me. Anyway, enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up if you've not already done so. Give us a little um, subscription. It's free. And hit the little notification bell and you'll get uh, reminded when any new videos come out. But most importantly of all, unless you're Alex Salmon, sorry, nah, Alex Salmon, I would include in this. So unless you're Nicola Sturgeon, Hamza Yousaf or any of the other people named in this action, have a great day. Cheerio bye now.